<sighs> so, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I missed a few days there. Um, it was a bit of a wild ride. Between work being a little crazy on the Friday at my office job and the absolute show that was the entire last week at the airline. Sorry, my happy meal is uh, causing a shadow. So, um, yeah, I worked about 12 hours of overtime in the last four days. I'm so tired, y'all. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> I don't have any tea because I need the caffeine. Although I did make tea earlier tonight when we were having dinner at my mom's. It was a quick finger food type of dinner. We bought a bunch of pre-frozen stuff at the store. We heated it all up. We went to town on it. And then we came home. Because I am so tired. <laughs> Tuesday. I was supposed to have an early night. I had plans. I supposed to have an early night. 10.30 rolled around and we still had over 100 calls in queue. Uh, I ended up answering phone calls to midnight. So much for early night. Wednesday, I think we answered calls till... Right, Wednesday was the early shift I picked up because I, was, I didn't work on Wednesday. So I picked up a 3 to 7 shift and then was like, dudes, I need some me time. I got to go. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm going to swear at somebody. <laughs> So that was Wednesday. So I did an hour and a half extra on Tuesday. I did four hours on Wednesday. Thursday, again, we were supposed to, well, no, I wasn't supposed to have an early night, but I was hoping to. Um, I think we finished around 11.30, almost 12 on Thursday. No, Thursday I didn't work. That's right. Thursday I was off. Friday. Friday was nuts. Um, it was busy at the office. We were supposed to be like, go at lunch. Somebody remembered to tell me around about three o'clock. <laughs> I was kind of forgotten. Um, so that's okay. I had plenty to keep me busy. I was working right up until they told me I could go and uh, <clears throat> reluctantly logged out at that point because I was in the middle of something. So yeah, I uh, started work at three at Porter. I was supposed to start work at 5.30. So that's two and a half hours there. And we didn't end, we didn't stop taking calls until almost one o'clock. Call center closes at 10.30. Saturday was my one to nine. I think we ended up finishing just before 10 o'clock. So I worked one till almost 10. And today was my short shift. Oops. My phone is going, stop it. Shh. <laughs> today was my short shift. I only worked four hours, nine to one. But y'all, I did not want to get up this morning. I did not want to log on to work. I was, I'm burnt out. I'm completely burned out. Um, as you may all know, there has been a massive storm up and down most of the eastern seaboard this week that has grounded flight. All our flights were grounded on Thursday, every single one. Uh, Friday, some of our flights were grounded and many, many more were delayed. We have people stranded all over the damn place because of course it's Christmas week. So when their flights get canceled and we have to rebook them, well, all the other flights are sold out. So where do we put them? So it has been hell um, people have yelled at me, people have cried at me, people have screamed at me, people have sworn at me. One lady threatened to sue me personally. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm done. Fortunately, I have tomorrow off from the office. I do work porter. <laughs> but... Um, okay, so I, let's get back to business here. 
Woo! Where did... I've got this upside down. <laughs> so this was my square for the 23rd. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to look up what it was. <laughs> it is this stuff. It is some Regia from my stash. I don't remember the colorway. That's what I was going to look up. So it is this. That's pretty true to color. It's some Regia from my stash. I was hoping for a little bit more of the red part in the square. Like I got a little bit here and I got a little bit here. Excuse me. But anyway, so that was my square for the 23rd. And this was my square for the 24th. It is um, a weirdly thick and thin sock yarn. It's, I don't know that it's a super wash. It might just be um, wool. But so this was my square for the 24th. I dyed this. Um, it is sock yarn. I don't know if it's got, if it's super wash. I'm fairly certain it has nylon in it. Not the nicest yarn. <laughs> and I dyed it, so it's badly done. <laughs> it was a workshop that I had at a now defunct yarn store called Log Cabin Yarns. They used to be in McDonald's Corners, Ontario teeny tiny little town that's like way out of town it's about two hours from here and if you blink you miss it <laughs> it's got about oh i'd say three people living in it no it's bigger than that but um the owner of the shop was a lovely lovely woman and uh this was my first time going to the yarn shop and i died we were going there for a yarn uh a yarn dyeing workshop so I did two skeins of sock yarn and two skeins of bulky weight the bulky weight have become scarves and have been given away uh, but I still have the two skeins of silk yarn. So I was trying to do a blue and silver sort of thing. I ended up with blue and muddy gray, kind of. It's not ugly, but it's weirdly thick and thin. Like there are some very, very thin spots in this yarn. Very thin spots. And if you look closely at the square, if I stretch it, you can kind of see where the thin spots are. Kind of. Because there's like a lot of space between the rows. But anyway, it's it's fine. It shows up more on the backside, actually, right here is one of the thin spots because there's like this huge gap between the rows. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it, it's fine. It's a square in the blanket. Big deal. I don't know that I'm going to make socks out of that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, to be honest. I might make pot holders or something out of it, like something quick and crocheted and that I can make really thick and sort of felt a little bit. But anyway, so that was my score for the 24th. I did not get one in today. Um, and I knit both of those this morning. I had no knitting time whatsoever the last two days. No downtime at all. <laughs> None. <laughs> so all the knitting I've done has been done today. Um, I was behind by two sections on the Papillon. Um, I did not finish section six or seven on the days I was supposed to, but I finished section six today. Sorry, it's really hard to see on this thing now. I have ordered myself a larger, a longer needle. I ordered it today, so I should get it in a few days, hopefully before the new year. But either way, um, cause yeah, it's starting to get pretty bunchy <laughs> on this needle. This is, I think, a 32 inch. But I ordered myself some chow goo because I love my chow goo. I love the, the cable. I love the joins. The joins on these, these are Walmart needles. And the joins are grip, like they're, they catch. You can feel where they catch. And the yarn always snags on it and it mm, drives me bonkers. But anyway, I did finish section six. Uh, at my mom's earlier this evening, I will work on section seven while watching whatever later. I don't have long list to watch anymore because it's all finished. But that's okay. So that was the knitting I got done. What little of it there was. But what I'm really excited about. I have happy mail, guys. And I have been waiting for this. I was waiting to record till I got this. I'm so excited about this. You have no idea. I know where the yarn is, so I can just cut into the top. So I mentioned this when I ordered it. This is one of the Christmas yarns from Suburban Stitcher. Oh, there's a sticker! 
I'm so excited. <laughs> you have no idea how long it's been since I've ordered yarn. <laughs> She's got a really pretty holographic sticker here, which will be backwards, I know. Suburban Stitcher. So this is one of her Christmas colors. They came out two weeks ago. And I hemmed and hawed over ordering it. And finally, I just did it. And I, I, I don't regret it because of the yarn. I regret it because of the exchange rate and the shipping cost. <laughs> and the shipping cost is by no way her fault, nor is the, um, nor is the, uh, the exchange rate her fault at all. Um, I knew what the exchange rate was going in. So, y'all, her prices are very reasonable. <laughs> this is a $28 skinny yarn. You want to know how much it costs me in Canadian? <laughs> Diane, if, I, I don't think she watches my podcast, but Diane, if you're listening, stop listening. This skinny yarn cost me $60, y'all. $60. Bucks. <laughs> this is my Christmas present to myself. <laughs> So it's being washed out slightly. There's a lot more green in this. I'll try to get a picture. But look at this. It's called Under the Mistletoe. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is my colors. It's teals and reds and some splashes of yellow. It's got some splotchy bits. But oh my god, this teal. It's really washing it out. There's a lot more blue to it than this. Uh, a lot more green to it. It's just a much, much more saturated color than what you're seeing on the screen. It's it's sort of washed out and faded blue. There's a lot more green to it. It is gorgeous. I'm very excited. I love it. Thank you, Diane. It's mine. <laughs> so we shall have to uh, see what this will become. This is going to be something special, and it's going to be mine, and nobody else can touch it. All mine. So I was anxiously awaiting this. This is her logo here. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get it without it blowing out completely. There we go. Suburban Stitcher. She's based in Texas. She has an awesome podcast that I love watching. She did vlog Vlogmas, which is how I knew about this. And oh, if you're in the U.S., check out her yarn. If you're in Canada, just admire from afar. <laughs> I do not know how I'm ever going to justify spending $60 for a single scale of yarn. <laughs> wow. Then again, given all the overtime that I did this week, I earned it. This is my reward yarn. That's what I'm telling myself. Totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. Look at how beautiful this is. Hmm. It's mine. So I um, I shared a recipe before all of this. Um, I made myself some banana bread steel cut oats. And oh my God, I've been eating them for dessert after dinner. They're that good. <laughs> I haven't even been having them for breakfast. I've been having them for dessert after dinner. They're that good. Um, I'm definitely going to do that again. My next batch is going to be pumpkin pie ones because I have a lot of pumpkin in my freezer. So I want to use some of that up and I might do some, I might do some chocolate cherry ones because I have a bag of frozen cherries and I've got some cocoa powder in the, in the pantry. That might be one of the two next batches. I love my steel cut oats. I find them super filling and an easy breakfast. Like all I do, I don't even, I don't even think I eat half a cup of them. Like I think it's more like a third of a cup once they're cooked, I'll put a third of a cup. I have this little tiny bowl that I eat them out of. And I put a tablespoon of cream and a tablespoon of um, pancake syrup. I'm using pancake syrup because I'm waiting on my order of maple syrup to come in. My nephew's uh, cadet corps was having a fundraiser for maple syrup, and I'm waiting for mine to arrive, which will probably be in the spring. I didn't think to ask when we were actually going to get the maple <laughs> syrup. So it will likely be in the spring. Um... And so I've been using pancake syrup. It doesn't really matter. Any kind of sweetener you like, honey, agave syrup, sugar, whatever. 
I happen to prefer liquid sweeteners. So what I do is I take about a third of a cup, I stick it in the microwave for 45 seconds to, six, to, a, to a minute. My microwave is ridiculously powerful, and any more than that, and things will explode. I can do a bag of popcorn in a minute and 20 seconds. So it, it still weirds me out a little bit. This was Jeff's microwave that he left behind when he moved out. And we bought him a new one that has an air fryer feature for his new place. So um, it was, uh, yeah, I heated up for like 45 seconds to a minute. Then I put the cream and the sweetener on and I mix it up. And oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> so I shared that at the beginning. Let me know if you would like me to share more little things like that. Or if that was really annoying and you never want to see it again. Because I am going to start podcasting regularly again. Um, there's going to be a bonus Vlogmas episode next weekend. It's just going to be little snippets here and there um, because our Christmas dinner is next weekend. It's going to be on New Year's Day. My brother and his wife are in Mexico right now with their kids and we're having our family Christmas dinner with all the grandkids and the whole deal next weekend on New Year's Day. So there will be bonus Vlogmas next week. For now, I am going to say good night. I hope everybody had a fabulous Christmas. Mine was... Uh, <laughs> mine was a lot this year. <laughs> and it's not all work-related, but mostly work-related. So anyway, I hope everybody had a fabulous Christmas. I hope you got to spend time with loved ones. I hope it was good. I, I just hope it was good and not awful because <laughs> I've had some awful Christmases. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to say good night and I'm going to edit this and then go to bed because I'm wiped. <laughs> Merry Christmas all.